<laughs> Shit. <laughs> we are just ready to go. It's gonna be very good. But oh my god, I keep hearing like noises from here. Good night. Hello everyone and welcome to the winter in Denmark. Today it's minus 10 degrees and the first thing we are going to do is to go to the forest and uh, make some food with my gas equipment and to make some grill uh, with a fire. The second thing we are going to do is to visit uh, the very popular giant which will be a very beautiful uh, video and very interesting. We can probably walk on the ice when it's this cold. And the third thing we are going to do is to find a good place to uh, sleep in the car and uh, we are going to explore the surrounding area. Oh wow, you cannot even see where you are going. Everything is like frozen. And the signs are even frozen. All right, so we arrived to the place and it's uh, completely untouched. There has not been anybody here, which was what I was hoping for. And yeah, take a look how beautiful it is. Like this way you have the Christmas trees, the huge Christmas trees. So let's get into some boots. Okay, I have my cooking equipment here. Let's go into this untouched area. Still full of snow, I'm the first one stepping in this. Wow, it's so beautiful. I love to go in the middle of the forest with snow when it's like untouched. Only animals have been here, look. But there are no sign of any human. All right, so I found this uh, shelter. Look at the ice taps here. Oh, that is crazy. So here yeah, I'm going to see if I can cook some food. I don't know if I can make a fire, I don't think so. Everything looks wet and it's like full of snow. So maybe I just use my uh, my gas uh, equipment here. Yeah, let's see. All right, so I collected some wood here. You can probably use all the dry wood under the shelter and then I made a little space here to put it and let's see if we can start the fire. Alright, so I managed to find a lot of dry wood here. Uh, I still have some pieces over there. Then I have my equipment from Argentina here to eat with, to put fire on, to wave it with the wind so it comes more fire and then I have sausages and all kind of stuff in here and uh, my stick so I will roast it on let's see if this is going to be possible I have to cut the sausage like this Then you put them on your stick and it's good to do this so it's more sharp okay and then you put it inside like this and then you have like a sausage on a stick and you put it in the fire and with some ketchup we are just ready to go all right, so I think my sausage is done. And then I'm gonna eat the sausage with ketchup directly. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Mmm, it's very good. Definitely a success. All right, now let's put one of this homemade bread that my mother, she gave to me. Let's see how it is in the fire. Mm, the sausage was really good. I'm gonna put two pieces of bread here, like this. All right, so the bread is finished. And uh, yeah, I feel like I can eat uh, more sausages. So I will just put one more. All right, it looks like it's almost finished now. Okay, so I have to say this time I really improved. 
Um, now it's almost like a hot dog. Mm, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Mm. So yeah, really I didn't plan any of this. It's very spontaneous. It's just an idea to do like uh, outdoor camping in minus 10 degrees and sleeping in the car. Because when I was on my way to uh, Greece, I slept in uh, Germany through the way like this in my car and it was minus three to five degrees. So I knew I could do this. Mm. This is good. Okay, let's wash this a little bit. Okay, so we got the gas equipment going here. It's gonna be very good. Then we had like a spaghetti, no, pasta with tomato sauce and uh, cheese. And then we had uh, two sausages with bread. <laughs> what a combi. Good combination. Okay, so I have here my mozzarella. Everybody in Denmark loves mozzarella with pasta. Like the real Italians. So let's fire it up. I have to say this went better than I expected, to be honest. Both with the gas and the fire. I didn't think I was gonna be able to make a fire here because look, it's full of snow everywhere on the trees. All right, never leave a fire even in snow. So now let's take it out. Okay, so everything is packed. I put out the fire. Uh, we are going to leave with the style, with smoke behind me. Um, and of course, no trash or any sign bes besides the fire that I was here. So yeah, let's keep it going. I cannot wait to change my shoes. My feet, they are really like wet. It's good to always bring like socks and extra shoes in this weather. So yeah, let's keep it going. What an extreme weather that hit uh, Denmark suddenly. I don't remember the last time the weather was anything close to this. I actually love it. The winter is amazing. All right, we made it to the next spot that I'm going to show you. It's gonna be dark very soon. It's already very foggy. But look how beautiful it is here. We have a lagoon to the left and we have a lagoon to the right. Whoa. It looks like uh, mountains in this weather. In the summer it's like super green and you can see the water is almost blue. And now yeah, we are going on this small path here. Whoa, it's so slippery. And there is no way I'm gonna make it back before it's dark. But uh, yeah, let's take a look here. I think the ice should be good enough to walk on, but uh, I don't want to attempt that while being here alone. I want to go for this thing I want to show you instead. So yeah, you, here you see that people swim here in the summer. So you can throw, oh my god, it's pure ice. So you can throw this when they are drowning. Okay, I'm almost reaching my destination and uh, I see some kids out there on the ice they don't give a shit they are making some noise they are throwing something on the ground that makes a noise okay we finally made it to the giant here and uh, there are some kids walking in the ice making a noise I don't know what they are doing Hallo, hvad er det for en lyd, I kan lave på uh, isen der? Det er bare noget, det skøjter hen af. Kan I ikke lige gøre det? Kan, kan jeg godt gå på isen? Vi har, vi har en sten lige her. Fuck, man. Er I ikke bange for at falde igennem, eller hvad? Ja, når vi kaster den. Sygt nok. Hey, hvor, hvordan er I gået derhen? Er I kommet ud? Øh, er I kommet altså, derop? Vi går over Lyngvejsøen og så herhen. Altså ja, okay. Så. Jeg, laver en, øh, jeg laver rejsevideoer. Hvad er I været med på den? Hvilken noget? Rejsevideoer? Ja, ja. På YouTube? Kan I, kan I lave det der, hvor du sådan der skøjter hen i... Jeg skal bare kaste en sten. Ja, prøv lige at gøre det. 
fuck man, jeg har aldrig hørt den der lyd før. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> det griner han det der. Har I været her om sommeren? Ja, ja. Ja, okay. Alright, I just had a talk with these really cool guys from Denmark. They told me about some abandoned places that I can go to and film. And uh, yeah, they told me not to climb, but it's uh, very slippery here. And the ice is about to to crack, so I'm not gonna continue walking on that. But yeah, this one, you can find these giants all around in Denmark. Uh, it's this guy, his name is Thomas Dampo. And he create these giants. And you can actually take that rope up there and then you can like fly into the water when it's summer. It's very nice. And it's about to get dark now. So I should head back soon. All right, so now I'm going to find a place to camp. And um, I would like to say that if you enjoy this uh, content I make, please uh, subscribe and like uh, the video so I get more motivated when I know that people like it and that they uh, support me, you know. So uh, yeah, look at this view right here, right now. It's about to get dark. It's uh, very foggy. Usually you can see all the way to the giant that I just were at. Oh, that was the perfect timing. It started to get dark right when I left the place. Good timing. So yeah, I'm gonna put on the light of my uh, GoPro so you can see everything and uh, we're gonna check out the, the area around where I'm gonna sleep. I already picked the location. All right, so we are at the location. It's very icy here. I have to be careful. Oh, that I don't get stuck. Oh my god. Okay, here is a good spot. Wow, I almost got stuck in a hole. Okay, so we are going to check out the area and this is my uh, surprise. Of course, we are gonna sled down there. Oh, I have to remember my key. Um, so... It's like downhill, so we're gonna take this this bobsled, I think it's called. Let's go. Yeah, I have to remember to lock my car, by the way. Let's see. Okay. So here we go. Mm, this way. Okay, I had enough of all this walking. Let's take the sled the rest of the way. Okay, so we are here at this uh, very popular bridge. Here the young people, they, uh, they swim in the summer. I have never been here like in the evening. Yeah, so just in case that I fall in the water, you can climb up here. Oh, it looks like some people, they are doing a winter bathing here. They cut a hole in the ice and then they just jump in. Oh, yeah, because here is not a hole. So somebody is doing like a winter bath here. Wow, that is crazy. And it continues this like a long time. So I think I'm gonna head back and see what else we can find. Okay, so this is the best shelter that I have found here. It has some nice stairs and then up here it's like deep. It's very nice and then actually you cannot see it but out here is a beach and um, in the summer it would be a very good place to camp because you also have the barbecue here that you can grill in the morning. And then out here in the darkness is the, it's the beach. You can see also they have this. So if somebody is drowning, you can throw that out. Okay, so this is actually funny. Behind one of the shelters, I find this uh, alcohol stuff. It's like a mojito and it's full. Vodka energy. Let's try to open up one and see like what is inside. If it's like... Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I can actually smell that it's like full of alcohol. Look. And it's green. Oh. So as I told you, this is like the place to party in the summer. So I wonder why it's still here. There's a lot. And it's drinkable. Yeah, so this is the craziest part about uh, Denmark. We are in the middle of nowhere. And then you can find like a, a toilet like this in the middle of nowhere. Here with full warm radiator and everything. It's very hot in here. I mean, you can literally sleep here if you are homeless. It's crazy. Yeah, you have these broken lockers and I think it's really sad that they are like smashing them. Because it's nice when you go to the beach, you can put it there. But oh my God, I keep hearing like noises from here, somewhere out there. So creepy this place. Okay, I'm going to make the bed ready now and uh, I'm not going to show you how exactly this bed that I created works. Uh, it will be a separate video um, on how I went to from Denmark to Greece uh, in this car with this uh, bed that you can fold out. We take out this now. Whoop, what's even that is hot now. Oh my god. So we have like boiling hot water. Yeah, I'm drinking the Earl Grey tea, which is one of my favorites. Mm. This is a good way to get warm before you go and sleep because the car keeps a lot of the, the heat all the night actually. So, okay, just a quick look of what the car will be inside when I am going to sleep there. Um, yeah, so I have like one blanket here, I have my military sleeping bag and then I have another blanket there. My pillow and my gloves. And uh, I'm gonna go quick in before I lose the warm that I just turned on. I'm gonna put my uh, shoes in a plastic bag and then I'm just gonna jump straight into the bed. Okay, see you there. Okay, so we are inside of the tiny camping car and uh, I can lock it from in here. So here, what I hear, yeah, so now it's locked inside and to get out it's very easy. Here there is like a, this little flicker here, if I click that I can go out and also I have the windows in here I can open so it doesn't get like too um, humid in here because if I don't open it, there will be like frost inside of the car because I'm breathing. And this happened on my tour to Greece. And when I woke up, I had to take the ice out of the uh, the windows from the inside. And that was a mess. All right, so I just uh, checked the weather and it is literally 10 minus degrees. Um, this sleeping bag, it can uh, hold uh, minus 12. All right, before I go to bed and sleep, let's call this uh, Peruvian girl and hear what she thinks about this idea, about me sleeping in the car. Hello. Hola, ¿qué tal? How are you? Fine, fine. <laughs> Good. I am in my car, look. Ah, uh, sí. <laughs> Kelly, do you watch my videos? Yes, always. Yes? Every Saturday. <laughs> Every Saturday. Yes, yes. <laughs> With, it's good that I put subtitles. Yes, it's really good because sometimes I can understand some words, so we yes. uh, subtitles understand more. <laughs> oh, that's good. Buenas noches. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Okay, so I am uh, going to sleep now. It is about uh, half past uh, 12, um, I don't know if you can see that. And uh, yeah, I'm under my uh, sleeping bag here and I have my blanket on top of me. I'm just gonna sleep and uh, hope that I don't get disturbed. So, good night. All right, so it's uh, six... Uh, 
6.57 and uh, I can't seem to sleep anymore. Um, I have not been cold at all, but uh, I would definitely like to to go home now and have some uh, breakfast and continue sleeping in my bed. So, yeah. All right, first thing to do when you wake up is just heat up the car as much as you can um, and heat up your body and just put it in full mode. That's it for today's video. If you like travel, outdoors and camping and stuff like that, then please subscribe. It motivates me a lot to keep going and uh, a lot more videos they are coming very soon.